Man, that is good. Like mashed potatoes, the beef, the gravy, the carrots. My goodness. I hate to double dip, but I'm going in. Anyway. Go ahead, man. I'm going in. My name is Stephen Bardo, former Flying Illini and NBA point guard turned basketball analyst. I have traveled the world through basketball, and the one thing I have found is everyone loves food and sports. What's up, y'all? It's your man, Stephen Bardo, coming at you with another edition of America Loves Food and Sports. I think we got a sleeper today, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the West Town neighborhood on the corner of Noble and Erie, talking about the Irish Nobleman Pub, an Irish pub that everything you would expect, but there are a few surprises, and we also have a surprise guest. I can't wait to get started, so let's check it out. I'm gonna reveal my special guest here. I was gonna to try to wait a little while, but you know, we're trying to get to this food. Chris Kent, thanks a lot for joining, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Head video coordinator for the Chicago Bulls. So we're very pleased that uh, Coach Dean Cooper hooked it up, because uh, this is one of his locations here and got Chris to join us. So we're really appreciative of that. Uh, Chris, how, how was it being in Chicago? I know you were here uh, in an internship role last year. Correct. How was it being in the city for you? I love you? it. I love it. Um, so I'm from Indiana, and um, like you mentioned, this would be the start of my second year. So I love Chicago, everything about it, the feel of the city. There's no place like it. One of my favorite places in the country. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, we're happy to have you here as well. You know, anybody that is going to come in and help the Chicago Bulls to success, everybody's all for that. Absolutely. So uh, you got a fascinating story, but what I want to first do Let's take a look at what we got here. Man. I know um, we got the poutine. Are you familiar with poutine? I'm not. Okay, so this poutine right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a dish that is very popular in London, in India, and Toronto. And so there are people from Toronto that actually come here and have the poutine and wow. say it's the best that they've tasted okay. outside of Toronto. Okay. So that's a, a little uh, gravy and fries and whatnot. Um, and we got a, a, a assortment of different sandwiches here. I'm gonna need some help with the descriptions, but we're gonna get into it in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna ask you, Chris, which one would you like to start with? Yeah. Let's go right here. <laughs> Let's go I right like here. This. I like this. Let's do the Reuben. Let's try it. All right. That, that's a, a good little Reuben the right Reuben. there. Um, looks real good. But go ahead and start, uh, Coach, because I'm gonna call you Coach. I know you right. that, appreciate that. You know, um, so Chris, has had a great run in terms of where he's come from to where he is uh, at currently. You guys know that I like these type of stories. And so, um, Chris, give a sense of where you started and how basketball grabs you. Because I know you like me, basketball. You've been married to the game. Right. How, how did, where did it all begin? From a young age. I mean, 
I grew up in Angola, Indiana, mm -hmm. small town, Indiana, you know, just like the movies. There's a hoop on every garage. Yep. Um, everywhere you drive, basketball. Kids are playing basketball everywhere. So just from a young age, I was just drawn to it. Um, and so I ended up playing in college and, you know, you work so hard to get to that point and my love for the game just you know it really it continued as i got older and mm. through that I, I realized that i wanted to coach and so uh it almost becomes a part of you you know so i got an opportunity with the fort wayne mad ants of the d league at mm -hmm. the time uh, i was 22 years old you know wait 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 you got a d league opportunity at 22 yeah. fortunate you know everything lined up good opportunity and you know we did everything from sat behind the bench during the game to picked up the opposing teams from the hotel before the game and dropped them off so we got to do a wide variety of things and that was the best thing for me starting out okay guys uh i gotta bring in kelly morehand did i say that right Kelly? come on in yeah, can. uh can you share what your role is here at the irish uh nobleman pub absolutely i'm the manager here i uh, work on the bar but also help with the food over all right you, your timing was great, man, with the play. That was like an assist. Oh, it's, you know, I, yeah. it's, I, 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 I'm a little on the short side, so I had to play the one coming up, so you got to learn to serve your right oh, hand. Oh, I like that. You're the point guard, uh, huh? I, I won't take too much credit for it. You, you know, okay, you got but, some skills here. Uh, I'll right. watch enough on TV. All right, we'll serve up what we got, what we're looking uh, at so here. You're in good shape, I'm telling you. You really can't lose off. I see right ahead, you have the, the Reuben sandwich. Yes. Obviously, Irish pub. It's kind of a staple for us. Yes. Uh, you start off with a nice marble rye right bread. Uh, you have, you know, fresh sour cart on there. Uh, the brisket is kind of what makes it in there. We, we smoke that. We take the process to make it throughout the day. You put it in there with the, you know, gooey cheese and it comes together to make a fantastic sandwich. You know, fresh cut fries we make on a daily basis. We, we cut them to order. Uh, and as you were coming across, you have the breakfast burger, which, yeah, it's heart and soul here. You wouldn't really put burgers, but our burgers are fantastic. What we do is we go down to the butcher down the street and we get a, a nice mix of half uh, chuck, half brisket. We make those to order, half pound. Uh, with that, we're in good shape. You got eggs and bacon on there. We got our sweet potato fries, which tends to be a, a very big thing here. Everybody enjoys that. Nice having a little options with that. Uh, come across some poutine, a nice Canadian favorite. Uh, you know, again, if folks like to come in here and give us a big top, you get you know fresh uh, cut fries on there. You get the gravy, which kind of makes it on there. It's like kind of our Irish connection to it all. Mm. And you got the cheese curds all melted on there. We 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 uh, you melted fresh. You come out there with that. Ooh, that's a gut oh, buster. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Keep yeah. Going. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you got uh, me hungry now. Uh, I'll, I'll just save that for last. But we have our blackbird blackbird sandwich here, which is like grilled chicken. You got avocado, uh, bacon. It's, it's it's fantastic. You got on a, on a fresh cut bread brioche. Uh, it, 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 it's our go-to sandwich here for chicken. If, if, if you're looking to stay away from the, the normal stuff, that's, that's going to be the route to go. It's really popular, really fantastic. But obviously, last but not least, going to an Irish pub, you're going to have to do the, the shepherd's pie. It, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You, you obviously, we make everything from scratch, fresh veggies, uh, and you, you know, put it together with the gravy. And the, the key to it is you take mashed potatoes on top, essentially the idea of a pie. So you see, we, we, you take that on there, you break, bake it fresh mm -hmm. as it comes over the top. And as you go out there, you get to brown it. And essentially, it creates a pie crust. And as you cut in there, it's the same premise as a pie, but you know, it's a really good cold weather dish, really good stick oh, to, your, okay. to your skin. But good thing about it here is the middle of summer, you're in good shape with it as well. You can't really lose it. It's fantastic. People love it here. Get, one, get some of this blackbird chicken oh, sandwich. Oh my goodness. Get some of that. This is really, really good. And while Coach Ken is trying that, I want to let you guys know about this place here, man, the Irish Nobleman Pub. It's exactly what you would think in an Irish pub. They've got vegetarian dishes. They've got a lot of options for different people. So it's not just your come in and maybe catch a game where there are, I believe, 18 big screens in this place. It's not a huge place, but it's got enough size to do whatever you want to do. So um, while we're enjoying this food, I just want to let you know that they have a lot of different uh, options on the menu to check out. So make sure you come check this spot out. Um, what has been the biggest adjustment for you with the video coordination piece? Because I can't edit video to save my life, man. I go on iMovie and I try to put together simple home movies. I can't do it. I mean, what, what was the biggest challenge for you on that? Um, you know, just learning the different software. Um, so in the G League, we had we, we pulled our games from YouTube and we put them into mm. a different program, Florida State, a different program. And then mm. finally, um, at the University of South Florida, where I was before the Chicago Bulls, um, we had the same software as we use here at the Bulls. So, you know, just repetition, using the software, and 
Um, some would say the hours, but if you're doing what you really enjoy doing, which is watching basketball, the hours really don't affect you that much. Okay. So. Try that. What do you think of that? Big uh, time. Big time. That's pretty good, Chicken right? Sandwich, very good. Yeah. Um, so try to give an example of how detailed the video requirements are for an NBA team at this point. Unbelievably detailed. We have, so every, every opponent that we play, we watch their last five games before they played us. Okay, last five games, not three, last five. Five, five games. Okay. And so during that five game process, you're watching their offense, you're watching their defensive coverages, you're watching their lineups. Um, Late game situation. So we have, we have um, as a staff, and one of my main responsibilities is just to make sure all the assistant coaches have what they need to be ready for every possible situation that might be thrown at us. Mm. So we're watching everything, and they might have done something four games ago one time, but we have to be prepared for that. So you have to really be thorough in the process. Is there something that surprised you when you got into this that is, is kind of like, wow, I, I, I didn't realize it was this detailed or I didn't realize this guy was this great in this type of situation? I mean, I would just, every day being around these, these coaches that I'm around, uh -huh. something new is always said that I've just, you know, never really thought of it that way. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm fortunate to be around guys like that who are just brilliant basketball minds. Um, and another thing that stands out is just, like you touched on, how good these guys are. You might know what they're going to do, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We right. know um, this player is going to take two dribbles and turn over his right shoulder and shoot it. Right. You're going to try to stop that, and it's not going to matter. So the guys are just incredible. The coaches are just as incredible. So it's a great opportunity. Try that morning burger I was with an egg on it. Bacon, egg, and it's outstanding. The burger is so fresh. I know they, they marinate some of their meat in here. Mm. That's good, isn't mm -hmm. it? See, um, Coach Kent, this is his first time. He's not making this stuff up. No. Y'all think I make it up every time I eat something. You can't this, make that up. This food is good, man. You can't make that up. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite team growing up? NBA team. The Chicago Bulls. Really? Ironically enough, yeah. Okay. Uh, Michael Jordan, you know. Sure. I was still young at the time, but I remember his, the end of his time with the Chicago Bulls. Mm -hmm. and, and he went with, with the Wizards, so. The Bulls were my favorite team, so now I'm here, and it's literally a dream come true. So wait a minute, like, I, you know I'm smiling, right? Because if I were in his position, with the Philadelphia 76ers, because that was my team, I would be overjoyed. So now I understand why you smile yeah, all the time. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, who did you try to pattern your game after when you were playing? What player did you try to look towards to pattern your game Chris after? Chris Paul. Really? Yeah. All right, why? Yeah. Floor general, smart point guard, um, knows when to score, knows when to get his teammates involved, tough, pest of a defender. That's who I tried to be like. And I had an AAU coach who told me, he's like, I want you to go home and watch Chris Paul. That's what I need you to be. So really enjoy watching him all the time. So I kind of tried to play like that. Well, and it got you to the college level. So obviously you did pretty good. Thank you. What was your specialty when you played? Like, what did you do the best? Man, a little bit of everything. Right. I, I, like, I like being well-rounded. So you need me to guard the best player and not really score, I'll do that. Just whatever the team needed me to do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then how is it? For you now being a part of an NBA franchise, but all the news that takes place in the summer in the in the free agent movement and this, I know you have to be involved, right? right? But to me, this might be one of the most anticipated seasons for the NBA. Would you agree? I would agree. And, and, and why? Um, I mean, just the way free agency is now, how it's really 24 hours coverage of that you know waiting to see where Kawhi was gonna go mm -hmm. and kind of all how the pieces fell after that mm -hmm. um, and you know with the players changing teams so frequently you never know who's gonna win the next championship so right I'm really looking forward to that yeah it was a, it was amazing to me to see a guy like Russell Westbrook leave Oklahoma City Thunder right, right. you know right been there is you know his career and everything and now he's with Houston Paul George had a great run. 
uh, at Oklahoma City. Yeah. I thought he did better than I would expect him to do. Yeah, absolutely. And now he's with the Clippers. Right. I mean, it's it's, it's going to be something in Los Angeles. I mean, in terms of off the court news. Oh my God. I don't think there's going to be yeah. any place better. Right. And then you know, hopefully Kevin Durant will be able to come back healthy and yeah. see what Brooklyn's doing. Um, lastly. Where where would you like this to go? Like, what what would be the end game? What would be the thing that you know? What if I got to this level, man? I think I've I've gotten where I want right. to be. Um, so someday I'd like to be a head coach of an NBA team. Okay, that's that's the goal. That's you know, every day when I wake up, I I try to prepare myself for that. Okay. Um, you know, if that doesn't happen, it's not a failure by any means. But someday I want to be one of the thirty head coaches in the league. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's that's pretty simply put. There uh, can't put any better than that. Here, I want you to try this. So everything I haven't said a whole lot, but everything we've had is really really good. The uh, the chicken sandwich here with the char on it is excellent. They have some sort of sauce that really uh, cuts the char a little bit. The Reuben was excellent because that melt melted in our mouth. Um, yeah. This is You're going to like that. The, the meat pie. You're going to like that. Yeah, I'm going back in. That's X man listen. Excellent. We got to show you what this looks like. Man, that is good. Like mashed potatoes, the beef, the gravy, the carrots. My goodness. I hate to double dip, but I'm going anyway. Go ahead, man. I'm going in. Um, so Chris tell everybody where they can find you email wise or contact information are you on social media or I'm anything on social like that media, Instagram uh, C Kent underscore four probably the best way to find me okay DM me reach out I'd love to help whoever so okay and what what kind of food do you like I'm a big sandwich guy so this is right down my alley oh really this is perfect you're a big sandwich big guy. Big sandwich huh? guy. Okay. All right. So what, what what would be what would be the 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 meal that everybody in Angola and Indiana would say, would like to hit up? Like, is there a favorite restaurant over there? Or I something? have I have one spot that I go to all the time. It's called Sutton's Deli. Sutton's Deli. That's that's my spot. Okay. And it's right there on the on the mound is what we call it, right in the middle of the town. So. Okay. Small so, town, not not many options, but that is that's the place to go. So you go to Angola, Indiana, Sutton, Sutton's Deli, you better be prepared because I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. You won't be disappointed. Coach Chris Kent, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck this year with the Chicago thank Bulls. You. Thank you. That was great. Special thanks to Chris Kent of the Chicago Bulls for coming out and hanging out with us. We had some great food. The Reuben sandwich was to die for, melted in our hands. The blackbird chicken sandwich was excellent. And the poutine, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, you Toronto natives, you can't go wrong. They've got vegetarian options here as well. So if you wanna come check out a game, you wanna come and have a romantic dinner, you can do it all here in this West Town established pub, right here on the corner of Noble and Erie. That'll do it for this edition of America Loves Food and Sports. I'm your man, Stephen Bardo. Until next time, peace.